All right, welcome to a two on two, and we will be observing a let's just say a cooperative game. Who are our teammates? We'll just see. So, the two Gauls and the Romans and Ptolemies. Okay, so that's will it's going to be a cooperative game. Jean, let's see the players. Chester playing the red goals. Well, the other goals, the yellow goals will be Phoenix Desk. Uh, so in our Western players, or I mean Eastern players. Physic playing the green Ptolemies and the Cyan Rome will be Dizaka. Okay. So uh, I think it's going only going to be a good kind of commentary because of the team bonuses each faction has because you know some factions are made for 1v1 and others maybe for cooperative now the bonus of the Gauls is to help each other gain those technologies faster so we have that everybody not not actually gaining that technology first well Chester has it first he he went for the farming technology first or the fruit basket technology first so he's putting that to good news the other one here is that you will actually observe here that Chester is gaining food and or is it Dizaka? yeah Dizaka. yeah it's because of the Ptolemies the Ptolemies ha actually give their, their his teammates one by one trickle of food and the Romans helps the Ptolemies in a way by having their infantry train less time. I think that's it. I don't know if actually it helps the Ptolemies because it's more of a cavalry rushing faction. And who's attacking early? Dizaka? Is Did he actually just put the Ptolemaic bonus to good usage because of the... Well, I guess so. Because th these are a lot of cavalrymen. Ooh, just look at that. I'm guessing he was... Yeah, look! Only four food gatherers and there, he's already caging Chester in... in his own base and without any more defenses except for those caval uh, spearmen. He's running away from the spearmen and he's also... Yeah, how many women was that? I think it was three or four. Uh, no, okay, so I thought he was trying to fight the spearmen. You know, he's try still trying to chase down women. One, two, three, four, five. And in sacrifice of he's sacrificing every one of his cavalry. So it started with seven, I think. Yeah, those two cavalry is dead with one, two, three, four, five, six women. Okay, so that's wasted time on Jester's part trying to defend. And. Dizaka still not actually done with the attacks yet. He's trying to contain Dizaka or Chester. Chester away from this food source. He's not letting him gain any more food, which is actually a good part on the Eastern side team. And so Chester is more forced to go on this side, maybe grab some fields. Because he can't really he, he's even denied of these food sources. Okay, Dizaga is doing a very good job there, and what's Physic doing? Yes, uh, kind of booming, kinda. He's not even trying to go for the Ptolemaic, for the Camel Rush. He can, uh, I believe he can actually do it. He's he's doing it on purpose. He's not doing the rush on purpose. I believe so. I I think he actually knows that there's. Yeah, he knows that there are food sources right here. Or are there? Yeah. There's more than enough. So he's warranted to get a, to consider a rush just in case. But when it comes to that, I think Dizaka is actually more equipped for that rush. So while Dizaka is actually booming here, putting and take or taking advantage of the extra food, he's gathering only only the wood that he can. Still going. But it's kind of a flimsy defense. When he doesn't care, he's going to be more concentrated on getting what do you call him? Loot. 
loot from these women and Chester's just he, he really he's desperate for the food source he really needs the food source otherwise he can't produce even any more units and as of the moment at least he has a lot of it he has a lot of food but Chester, uh, Dizaka still stubbornly trying to get the eke out the economy as he can even though his yeah his cavalries are getting weaker his raiding party I think it's already gone he can't really attack anymore okay so good job Dezaka getting that okay forcing Chester out of his food sources uh, so while well, that goal is um, taking a breather let's see here on Phoenix side got a lot of food got a wood okay so he's maintaining a good balance of wood and wood still not trying to get into the sea phase wood line 15 wood gatherers good 25 food gatherers I think that's too much at, uh, in this point of the game but we'll see how that plays out maybe it's to assist Jester here to so he has a lot of food to give also just in case and what's Physic doing still booming his way to town phase I guess where's I think I saw a cavalry here ah, this little speckle looks like a green unit where is where's your cavalry he's gone already He's either gone or he's actually hunting for food. I think it's actually safe to say that he's actually gone. And Izaka maybe didn't really put much put much effort into economy because he seems to be behind that some somewhat. He has a lot of wood, not much wood. Where did he spend it on these houses? And is Chester catching up? yeah okay so everything seems to be still quiet at this point I think somebody needs to scout both teams need to do some scouting that right now at least somebody has to Chester still has a very limited vision well understandably because because of the attack as attack but they should actually at least have even more vision to know that there are still a lot of food sources right here especially in the Zaka's part if you can actually see that he can actually maintain a rush if he actually wanted to but for now I think he's settling on booming getting as much economy as he can right now let's just see okay the top part of our map 62, 55 on the population, so Chester's ahead when it comes to food we can't really tell who's ahead here or who's putting all of his food and wood to good use everything seems so balanced right now metal sources yeah, Chester has used some okay ooh, some metal he's mining metal what for this? The only reason you will be making metal is because of this. Do you have some Therios? Yeah, yeah I actually did. Got some houses up. Right. Okay, so the fact that you're using this means you're using your teammates bonus to your own advantage. But something's not right. It says infantry, right? Your bonus as a Roman player should at least give where's the bonus it should be eight seconds instead of ten did i actually get your bonus wrong as the romans or was it not implemented yet well maybe as far as i know alpha 23b supports that but whatever Okay, 
So how's this being built here? How walling himself in there? What is this? This is too much storehouses. Yeah, I know it's free, but I think that's too much. Okay, potential wood lines still are here. Attacking. This is kind of weird. You're not even in town, or yeah, you're not in town phase yet. Yet you're already gathering as much stone and wood, uh, stone and metal as you can. He seems to be uh, trying to ready up something. Well, let's see here. On the Gaelic side, still booming, still booming. Okay, but still not enough resources to get to town phase. Also on this bottom side, still setting up our defensive positions. No center towers here, but how many men? Do yeah, all all wood gatherers are spearmen. Oh, no, not not spearmen. Yeah, only two spearmen, but at least they can actually defend for themselves. This is the weak spot of our yeah, and rightfully having a sentry tower there. And I actually let's see, finish desks. You have a little bit of a responsibility of using all of your food sources to good use if you actually want to get ahead in, in the resource counting especially that you have your cavalry you have a lot of units that are no not a lot but your cavalry is doing nothing i don't know what you're up to but having maybe two or three even a rush can actually be considered right here but that's too late right now but at least you actually have he actually had to make use of these things. Okay, so Physic reach, reaches town phase first, which means he's actually more ready to check out to see the phase by... And his only requirements now will be buildings, blacksmiths, towers, and temples. He's actually close to home right now, actually. He already asked me. And he's really not interested in the camel rush. He's not building any camels at all. Yeah, when I said food sources earlier, you know, there are only two sheep. Two sheep. Yeah, never mind. And still booming his way. He's just, he's just contented trying to get as much territory as he can. Although I actually favor. A more offensive territory try to make his presence known to Phoenix why well, whatever physic you do you physics is strong anyway and here comes the barracks the Romans manages to catch up who's ahead in population is physic he's <laughs> with physic and who's gathering this stone so much stone Phoenix, what are you doing? Unless you're you're assigning some towers or slingers, I don't think getting this much stone and metal early on is actually justified. But when it comes to oh, you're way ahead. I think you're way ahead of physics when it comes to checking out see the fate. Yeah. You're relatively ahead when it comes to resources. But for now, Physic has caught up. I think he only needs one structure, sound phase structure, to take up to city phase. And you are structures behind. You're not even planning to upgrade your sentry towers. And okay, it's starting to lag, it's starting to lag. Jester managing to boom, managing to. He actually manages to get to caught up into economy. Uh, he's actually the only one in town or yeah, village phase at this point because of the Zaka's attack. But if we can actually manage here, we can still catch up to the economy though. And still with the metal mines, physic. That's going to be justified if you have the blacksmith. Do you have one? What's this? Yeah, here we are. The blacksmith ready to show himself. Barracks, a third barracks. Or fourth. Yeah. 
How many bags do you have? That's actually the fourth one coming up. And I think he's trying to win by sheer numbers. The territory booming style. The siege style. Claim as much territory as you can and then try to invade your opponent's base. And Phoenix. Good offensive, uh, offensively positioned temple. Something to run back to win in case of attack. I wonder who will be the first to attack again. Well, the Zaka he managed this his first attack. And what's this? Okay. So there's a little bit of a sneaky scouts. <laughs> okay, so the Zaka's trying his. His luck with the, okay, one woman, one horse, not a very good exchange, but at least I think he has the better vision. Yep, better vision, physic, cartography on. This point, yeah, they have their cartographers, uh, cartographies on, except for Chester, he doesn't have it. He's still suffering from the Zaka's, uh, the effects of the Zaka's attack. I think this is going to play out, <laughs> affect the rest of the game because of that. And also because both players are technically playing flanks, they have no pockets. Physic has his own pocket type base. So he's playing a pocket and a flank at the same time. So just in case his main base gets attacked, there's an assistant pocket position from where he will actually produce his units from. But judging from what we can see in this situation, he doesn't need it. Because he's going to be ahead when it comes to producing his siege weapons. And Phoenix has only caught up taking up the city face. It's very recent. But at least he's ahead when it comes to all the resources he needs. He can actually build a fortress right now and get for that very big upgrade called the will to fight. Dynamis. Dunamis. Run over dynamite. Power. Explosiveness. Something. Oh yeah. I thought it wasn't Egyptian words but I actually forgot that it was the Ptolemies. We're actually referring to the Ptolemies. But anyway. Okay, Chester finally. I thought he was going to scout. Try still trying his best to catch up to everybody. Yeah. He has a lot of metal. He can't really put to good just right now. No one still neither of the Gaelic players are considering the naked fanatics that yeah, not not yet that is. And I don't think he will a defensive fortress. It's fine, it's fine. And offensive cavalry. Okay, so this is going to be their rendezvous point. That's actually very good. Yeah. Good yeah. Okay, so who's going to be the first to attack? Seems to be Physic. Because of his, yeah, he even. Okay, my market's up. Let's just see some engagement right here. We'll see how this one goes. He's going to this position. He's actually going to meet Phoenix's. His population capped. The only reason he's going to attack is to get so that he can actually produce even more units. This is the, the point of the game where we can actually see how how assistive each team can actually be. It's more of a 1v1, right? 1v1 at the top, 1v1 at the bottom. And teamwork will only depend on bar yeah, even bartering. Trying to get the resources is more it's more of a one v one with those like team bonuses if they if they can actually afford it. Okay, 
<laughs> okay, those guys, yeah. Come on, Phoenix trying to regroup his units, clump his army together. So who will win this? It's going to be I'm not going to comment much because I can't comment much. I can I can only comment much when there will be enough fewer units. Okay, elephants taking down those buildings down. Okay, that's good. And unit diversity. It's on physics side, I think. <laughs> because there are a lot of skirmishers on Did I say Phoenix? Phoenix and Physic. Okay, Physic has more diverse units. I think those are skirmishers and slingers. While Phoenix only has skirmishers javelin people and here come the siege weapons who those think whose is this it's physics they're being taken down by phoenix's cavalry and chester please help yeah that's all i can say yeah hey, here comes help from the top part you can actually see that from the mini map this is where Physic, I think, will get routed. If not, he's going to get finished and get counterattacked. And Dizaka has, no, I don't think he has the proper army to attack for now. Well, we'll just see. Oh, those are a lot of elite units on Physic's side. I don't know if even Chester can actually help Phoenix at this point. But we'll just see. Yeah, Chester realizes that he's battling against elite units and the lag level is too elite. I really need to get my system upgraded. But for now, let's just watch house after house being taken down. As long as Phoenix doesn't take down those elephants, he's going to be too busy trying to defeat those infantry assist units and Chester doing a little bit of hit and run yeah I can see Dizaka going for a large force in here yeah it's, it, it, it's a very good tactical maneuver on Dizaka's part because okay there's still a so this part relatively finished let's just shift on this part right now okay Still, I, I can't help but shifting back here because there are three colors in here where Physic is getting a pincer type. Uh, no, our Western team doing a pincer type movement of attack where Chester's red slingers right here aren't actually helping much, but they're doing more of a distraction, trying to say, hey, Look, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here and still laggy 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 let's look at the engagement right here so it's more <laughs> okay so he this Aka tried to build an army camp but focus firing on that building really messes him up let's see let's just monitor right third 30 skirmishers 20 swordsmen against skirmishers and swordsmen and one hero unit okay and by the looks of things this Aka's getting crushed yeah it looks like this Aka's going to get defeated right here yeah, along with some battering rams ready to finish this enemy entrenchment Okay, so that attack failed. Let's see Chester's attack right here. I think that's too few soldiers <laughs> and a very dead set of priests going out. Well, whatever. But I still think this attack is too weak to do anything significant. Let's just. Okay. 
These things are regrouping still. Let's see the attack right here. So Physic manages to uh, get a punch through Phoenix's base eventually and rain some fiery balls of doom using our those two or three three catapults two catapults being assisted by a ton of soldiers mercenaries and even another battering elephant yeah sorry elephants weren't used as siege weapons but whatever Okay. Just waiting for this house to be taken down. Or Civic Center to be taken down. Phoenix tried his best to defend. We getting gathers and the is trying to capture it. Physic is trying to capture it. Okay. I think it didn't mean mean to destroy it, but the lag is too strong. Well on my part it is. I don't know on his side. Okay, since that house is taken down, let's move right up here in Dizaka's base where Chester is doing his own counterattacks. How are the armies going? Okay, I still think that somehow when it comes to composition, yeah, it's surely in Chester's favor. Three women, one woman. Come on, kill that last woman. If you can actually see it. Uh, more men are getting taken down. That's one strong woman. Punching her way through. There she goes. But at the cost of Lizaka's army getting finished off. Move. Let's move here. And the attack that made Phoenix's uh, physics attack successful against Phoenix is being employed here on the top part. Except Chester is doing the damage. It's his vengeance for rushing him earlier with those raids. This time, Dizaka is receive is on the receiving end of that that destruction phase. And here comes more backup, more elite soldiers. I'm seeing yellow. Yeah, there's still the advanced rank. But I think it won't be long till they, they get to the elite rank. And fortunately on our Eastern side team, Phoenix is ready to enter into Chester's base. And I don't think he can actually respond to this attack. No matter how, he want, how much he wants it. We have three heroes. One hero is our Phoenix. Try. He's trying to recover the others from Chester, and the last one is from Physic. So Dizaka is the only one who has doesn't have a hero unit, and by the looks of things, he's not gonna get it. He's not even city phase, I think. Well, he is in city phase, but he's failed to build a fortress first. That means Chester has gone ahead in resources. Bartering, bartering, yeah. What's this? A military camp. Another pocket position. And okay, migration coming along on Who's this again? The Zaka's part. Because his civic center that's going to be taken down. He's not even trying to defend his base anymore. So while this is going to be finished off, I think Chester should focus more on it. Yeah, he's actually Focusing on his defense right here, but he needs to, to have a response against these siege catapults because that these will wreak havoc on the base. Let's just see how we can actually manage this. I'm having difficulty trying to. Let's just do this. Okay. So. Phoenix's base destroyed, the Zaka's base destroyed, Chester's base being destroyed, Physics base relatively safe, 
And they think these things crawly crawly out of their way are even more backup units. And Dezaka is positioning his way into a more assistive defensive type of role. Yeah, this is after he can actually get his civic center up. Okay, so this one was captured. So at least Chester has a second base, albeit it's only a one hit wonder in it right now. But as of the moment, Physic is, is capture crawling. He's capturing his enemy's charge. Okay. And he still has no response against the siege catapults. Because all who's attacking the army are still out there somewhere. What's this? Okay. <laughs> so Phoenix saw Disaka rebuilding his base, so that's gone. And if if he can actually manage the attack uh oh. Uh oh. Let's see here. Okay, so women aren't actually strong against siege weapons right now. Back then they were so strong, 10 women can actually take these guys down. No problem. But if these Phoenix can actually use these for the attack, I think it will be very successful. Because Finn Physic doesn't have defensive units. Come on, come on Phoenix. Attack him. Attack. Yeah, good. While he's busy trying to attack, he's going to be forced into rushing inside Chester's base if he can actually do. He can no longer dawdle using those. Okay, so I think the siege catapults were destroyed without my knowledge. Uh, no, 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 they're not. They're just transferred. They're still right there, except... The yeah, nice job, Phoenix. Now, did you actually manage to build an our civic center, or was it only a military colony? It still, don't, doesn't seem to have a civic center. So I guess you're only living by the fact that you have fortresses. Okay. So the Zaka has. <laughs> has practically forfeited the game, sending every resources that he can to Physic just so he can muster up a defense. Where are your swordsmen? He doesn't have swords, people. And this Civic Center is surely going down. I'm sure of it. There is no contest. Now after the Civic Center, what else is going to be taken down? That's going to be the question. So, physics main base has been taken down, or main civic center has been taken down. All that's left to do now is take out the significant, important building. Yeah, just like the barracks, farmsteads, and the temples. No more units to be produced still under the influence of the military colony so fortunately for physic and who is who is now really into rushing against Chester's base finishing it off so that he can actually ooh yeah I know he actually built this one but it's still quiet right here okay so let's check a few hits more No more catapults. Physic has no more catapults. I can no longer see his catapults. So the attack has been finished. And Physic still has a lot of resources to spare to get his second civic center up. And it's still lagging on my part. I'm really excited. To get these old VC units out. Come on. Lesson. Lesson. Am I going to do the 
what I read start of looking at trees so that the lag will be reduced. It doesn't actually work on my machine, so sorry. Whatever. Okay, after destroying the civic center, builds a military colony, invades the base, while, while also securing his second base right here. And what are these? Fortress barracks. It's like saying, I have a lot of money, I have a lot of resources, what are you gonna do? I can still build a lot of buildings, which is actually true. See that? Physic is ahead in resources by everything by far. And Lizaka didn't, didn't he lose already? For all I know, he actually resigned already or produced his last woman. Well, for now, it's a two on one. Okay, it's a two on one. Let's see how the team will, team play, teamwork will play out. We'll just see how it plays out. Because our Gallic player Chester here not only has moved into another base, he has migrated. It looks like he, he let's just say he he almost turned Roman. He he was converted into Roman. While Physic is getting converted into a barbarian as well. And these are a lot of units. A lot of elite units, that is. Elite units, very inefficient with their wood gathering. They're all elite. You can't promote them any further. And the only reason they're chopping wood, no matter how slow, is that they they are surrounded by the temple's influence. That's the only reason they're chopping wood there. So that they're kind of productive. But how are our two players going to muster up an attack against Physic right now? Who has a lot of resources. Now Physic has a lot of wood. Wood, yeah, I think he can produce a lot of soldiers, but he can no longer higher mercenaries which is one of the downfalls of being a Ptolemaic guy and oh. sorry about that okay physics sent physics sent metal Dizaka what for you mean he's still alive how to wall is that I don't know what that one was for, but I think that was a mistake, but I think at least these two are still sending each other resources and rightfully so we can only question who is going to okay, so Physic is going to initiate the, the other attack right here inside Chester's base because I, I think Physic has no real update on Physic's base so he's going to, I think he's heading straight into the civic center. He can actually smell blood. He senses there is no defense. And so he's going straight into the civic center using all of his units. And good thing it's not lagging. Hopefully it will even, this attack will reduce even more units so that well, the lag will reduce. And Chester <laughs> no longer has space for women. No, it shouldn't act. Shouldn't it be women and children first and not the men going to be... Oh boy. I think that's going to be a mistake. If even the men are hiding in there. Oh no. They're actually uni produced units. My bad. Sorry about that guys, but still make those no difference. This civic center seems to be getting captured no matter what happens. Or captured or destroyed. Whatever. It's not going to be a contest anymore. And whoa, somebody managed to build his base. Thankfully enough. Okay. So, 
that was Chester destroying majority of the base as much as he could before everything else would be taken back by the enemy. But at this point, even Physic, who is, has been grabbing territory left and right, isn't interested in this part of the map anymore. Yeah, he's no longer interested in this part of the map anymore. Okay, so who's attacking? Okay, so this is Phoenix doing his. I think this is a more of a desperate attack against physics base. We'll just see. I'm still going to be very happy that the units will be reduced anyway. The only reason I said this is a des desperate attack because the last time he attacked physics base there was no defense but this time things are different. Physics has come prepared this time. He come fast and very fast against Chester right here and went back to his base before Phoenix can actually muster up his own attack, attacking force. And yeah, there's still rams right here, sure. There's still a very threatening force, but they're not as scary as before, simply because of these defenders. Oh boy. Let's just see who has the better hero or something. The person Jatterix. Yeah, I think it's the person Jatterix. Oh, Brennus. Okay. Okay. Ram versus Ram. Are you kidding me? No, those are actually teammate Rams. Okay. Phoenix. Phoenix sending Chester some food. And. Isaac. Doing some light defenses on his own base, but I think he's more focused on the attack right there but Let's see I'm just waiting for the units to drop population Because it's just too much for my machine The only problem here is that you just keep reproducing your units and it's more of a complaint that's against my machine not on your gameplay because replenishing your number of units is the right thing to do so I will not expect endless from good players although I am ho only hoping that that would happen okay so attack cancelled out regroup and at this point Let's see if Physic can actually complete invading this part of the base, which is very heavily defended because of the civic centers and fortresses together. Ooh. Okay. Don't try to engage that one, Chester. Please. I'm not expecting you to win this one. Too many elite units. That's the main reason. You seem to be holding out on, on your own anymore though. Ooh, ooh, Civic Center goes down. Boom. Next will be the fortress. No, oh, no, not the fortress. Some, next will be some, some economic buildings away with the wood line. Away with the farmstead, away with everything. Alright. Okay, so what's this? A minor skirmish? Okay. <laughs> so let's just shoot. So, Physic once again getting caught off guard with a, with a base cross of rams getting out. But let's. I just want him to finish this one off. Okay, so that's Chester's base uh, gone again, and he's he has. Does he have enough? Or where's your option over here? 
case they're lacking stone and metal. And Dizaka, who is only le relegated to economy building, is holding on for dear life. Getting the assistive defensive function that he actually needs. So, physics, pocket position, wiped out. Next will be this part. No swords. <laughs> he doesn't know if he's going to attack or not. Just doesn't know. And Physic doesn't care. All he all he cares about this one is just chase those rams away and just keep mining. Okay, three color engagement. Green, cyan, and yellow. Nah, looking good on our western team's part. Still these sneaky rams are going to be very annoying. Okay, so they're not going to do anything anymore. Okay, Jester is sending everything to Phoenix now. I think he recognizes that he can't build another base anymore. What was this? Oh yeah. I think his main function right now is to repair everything that he can. So let's see the engagement right here. So Dizaka doing his function of being the assistive defender. Assist defender. Trying to contain these rams is going to be very difficult because none of them has swords, I think. Now well, Zaka has sword units. He's a Roman Hefner. Yeah, chasing those rams away. Chasing those rams away. <laughs> go lag, go. Go lag. Ooh, what's that? Okay. Physics catapults have returned. And another attack from behind. Phoenix's base. So while that engagement is getting getting pushed back. Let's see what's, what will happen here. Well no defense, so not interesting enough. Let's let's go with the with the interesting part of the map. Where Phoenix's units might be forced to go back way back into his into his base and defend while this attack is going to be happy attacking all of the buildings on this side of the map okay or on this side of phoenix's base these things will go down oh uh, no he doesn't actually know what to do with them help in the defense or help with the defense or help with the defense because i'm not a third group is going right here oh boy this is just physics going all over the place. Crawling all over the map. Crawling all, all over Phoenix's base, that's it. This is like a Koba choking his opponent to death. Did the Civic Center go down? I guess it did because this is the only important building trying to hold it. Hold things together. Well, that and the other fortress right there. Once they get taken down, I don't think Phoenix has any more bases to cover. Yeah, and Physic knows it. Somewhat. So he doesn't actually care much about this attack anymore. He's going to focus his efforts here. Okay. Oh, so they resigned already. Ah. So that was an amazing match. Maybe. That was a laggy match. Where maybe the faction bonuses made, played a good part, or a good role on, on the beginning. Except that maybe the Zaka's attack did very little damage. Well, the only reason there is that 
Vizaka wasn't really booming himself at that po at that point in time. See, he was still behind Chester when he was rushing. That's where, uh, uh, when it come to came to trying to take up to sound phase and city phase, he was just having inferiority resources, even with the trickle resources that he gained from, or trickle food, not resources, trickle food that he got from, from Physic, his teammate. Because when it comes to the stats, economy, and military, Physic had the, had much of the advantage right there, with Chester trying to catch up. Even right here, he was the, the only one who had a fighting chance against him, and Dizaka. By the time his base was attacked, it was all over for him. His main function was to assist, which it was still good. He played a good defensive role as a teammate, while these guys played actually better team team play, I guess, because they were assisting each other in the resources. So, in the end, it was actually more on the best player who won. The best player was actually Physic. Well, the highest rating one was Chester, which is understandably why he had the better fighting chance against Physic. But in this at this point in time, hmm, I don't know if Phoenix Death did actually somewhat better than Dizaka. At least Dizaka played an attack. Phoenix, uh, yeah, he tried. He tried booming, managing to defend only because of his boomed economy and because of the switching back and forth. They were only, uh, the only one fighting was actually Chester, so that's how, that's how you're going to produce it. Anyway, but it was more of a one versus all. It was one on one at the beginning one at the top, one at one and one at the bottom, and then Physic against all or Physic against both. He was only trying to choose who to attack first, when to attack where, and the only reason he was getting pounded right here. No that's it. Yeah he he was actually getting pounded right here because of those ramps. Those uh, very stagnant positions right here. It's because of those ramps. But in the end, he was the one taking down more buildings than the other guy people. So, that's it. That's the game. See you guys in the next video.